Hi, you fabulous first graders. Oh my gosh, you have been working so hard and we are so close to the end of all of our math lessons. We have just, this is our last show what you know. So today you're going to show your teacher how big your brain is and play a super fun game. Before we go to do that, let's go over our math vocabulary words. Okay, we have the word subtract. What does it mean to subtract? Yes, you're right. It means that we're taking away or removing numbers from a group. Great job. What about subtraction? Yes, that is when you subtract. When you are taking away, you are in the act of subtraction. Awesome. And minus, can you show me with your hand? Yes, that's the symbol we use in subtraction. And difference. Yes, difference is the answer in a subtraction problem. Awesome job. So um, before we go now to do our show what you know activity, let's get our brains ready, okay? Let's warm it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. And warm up that heart so you can show your teacher how much you love to learn. Warm it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So let's go now, um, get out your workspace book or you can log on online. I'm going to show you online. Okay. So go get your materials and we'll meet right back. What you know, page, um, in our workspace book on page 41. So let's get out our notebooks. I'm going to show you how you can do it online. We're working in lesson number 20 in number four. And we're working on it. Page 41. Okay, so we will do the first one together and then I'll explain um, how you're going to do the whole page. You're going to fill in sums, differences, and missing add-ins in these equations. Then you're going to solve the word problems. When you finish, you'll play hit the target and you can play that game with your manipulatives at home or online. So let's solve this first problem. Four plus two equals. Hmm. Now to solve these problems, you can use any of your tools at home. You can use your counters, your tens frames. You can use your cube trains. You use whatever you want, the strategies that you learn best on how to solve that. I would like to use my cube trains. So I'm gonna get out my M tools. And I'm going to build a cube train of four. Because this sounds like a joining problem. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to add two more. One, two. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to now write six as my answer. Okay. And then down here, you want to read and solve the problem and then write the equation. And again, you can use any of your tools, your M tools online. Um, and I'll show you right here where they are. Any of these tools, 10 frame, you're connecting and you're connecting cubes. Okay. All right. Good luck and work really hard. Take your time and show your teacher what you know. If you need to correct some answers, she'll let you know and you can fix them. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Just keep working. What you know page um, in our workspace book on page 41. So let's get out our notebooks. I'm going to show you how you can do it online. We're working in lesson number 20 in number four. And we're working on it page 41. Okay, so we will do the first one together and then I'll explain um, how you're going to do the whole page. You're going to fill in sums, differences, and missing add-ins in these equations. Then you're going to solve the word problems. When you finish, you'll play hit the target. And you can play that game with your manipulatives at home or online. So let's solve this first problem. Four plus two equals. Hmm. Now to solve these problems, you can use any of your tools at home. You can use your counters, your tens frames. You can use your cube trains. You use whatever you want, the strategies that you learn best on how to solve that. I would like to use my cube trains. So I'm gonna get out my M tools. And I'm going to build a cube train of four this sounds like a joining problem. 
one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna add two more. One, two. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to now write six as my answer. Okay, and then down here, you wanna read and solve the problem and then write the equation. And again, you can use any of your tools your M tools online, um, and I'll show you right here where they are. Any of these tools, 10 frame, your connecting and your connecting cubes, okay? All right, good luck and work really hard. Take your time and show your teacher what you know. If you need to correct some answers, she'll let you know and you can fix them. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes, just keep working. Oh my gosh, your teacher told me that you did amazing on your Show Us You Know page. Good job, I'm so proud of you. Now we get to play a super fun game called Hit the Target. I'm gonna show you how to play with manipulatives at home and on the computer, all right? Let's okay, to play the game Hit the Target, all you need are 10 frame number cards, which the number frame, 10 frame number cards look like this. They have a number written on them and then a the 10 frame representing that number. You can make these or you can use the ones that are online. Okay, and you can um, have a, you can play with this a partner or my partner's gonna be puppy dog over there, hey baby dog, or you can play by yourself. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, well you have to shuffle up your cards. Make sure that you shuffle up really good and the numbers will be from zero to 10, okay? That's what the numbers you need on your 10 frame number cards. So we're gonna turn over five cards, one, Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I'm going to now turn over one more number and that's gonna be my target number. One more card, excuse me. Okay, my target number is nine. I have to find a way to make nine in these numbers right here. So I'm gonna look for number pairs that we can add or subtract to make the target number. Hmm, oh, two plus seven equals nine. So I'm gonna collect those cards. Awesome, I found the number pair that add them together, those equal nine. Now I'm gonna see if any other numbers can equal the uh, target number. Hmm, no, I don't think so. So now I'm gonna take my target number, I get to keep those cards. Now it's puppy dog's turn. <laughs> puppy dog has two. Now flip over and replace those missing cards and then we're, we're, um, place over one more card for the target number. Ooh, zero. Hmm, how can we make zero? Puppy dog? Oh, you're right, 10 minus 10 equals zero. 10 minus 10 equals zero. Great job, puppy dog. Any other ways to make zero? No, so he gets to keep zero. And so you keep playing until um, you there are no more plays possible or all the cards are used. The player who captures the most cards wins. And these directions can be found on page 40 in your workspace book. All right, have fun. Okay, online. And it is in lesson number 20 with uh, workspace page 41 that you just did with the show what you know. If you need reminders on the directions, you can go to your workspace book page 41. Okay, so I'm gonna go first and I'm going to lay out five 10 frame number cards. You can play with a partner or you can be part player B and player A. One, oops, two, three, Four, five. Okay, so there are my five 10 frame number cards of the numbers four, one, five, three, and nine. So now I need my target number. Ooh, is seven. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I had to find a way to make seven. Hmm, oh, four 
and three make seven when I add them together. Awesome. Hmm. I can't think of any more ways, so I'm going to take my target number and I'm going to move on. And now it's going to be Puppy Dog's turn. Okay. He's going to... Wait, Puppy Dog, are you ready? Woof. He's going to flip over to some 10 frames cards. Okay, and now it's target number. Ooh, he also has seven. All right, Puppy Dog, what's a way that you can make seven? Yes, you're right. Eight minus one. Awesome job, Puppy Dog. Is there any other ways to make seven? No, okay, that's all right. So pull down your target number of seven. Okay, and you're gonna keep playing until you run out of cards or you run out of ways to make the numbers for that target number. Um, and have fun, the player with the most card wins. You are amazing, you did so much hard work today. You showed us what you knew and your big brain and you played that really fun game, Head the Target, I like that game. Oh, I'm so proud of you and I think we should celebrate hmm, with the fantastic cheer. Okay, get out your bottle of fantastic and then say your fan fantastic and wipe it out. Oh, awesome, I had so much fun learning with you. Bye friends. Thank you.